Hi guys, so I'm really excited about what I get to show you guys today because I think it's the start of the next big step in terms of Fortran development. I think this is uh, headed in the right direction to really start to bring the language to becoming much more accessible to a larger audience. And so I'm really excited to get about what I get to show you guys today. So I've got a couple of clients who really like using Visual Studio on Windows to develop Fortran code using the Intel compiler and their plugins for Visual Studio, which works great for them, and I'm happy that they're happy with that, but it means that we can't start making use of packages that are developed using the Fortran package manager, because Visual Studio doesn't really know how to to fetch those dependencies and build and link all that stuff together. But uh, thankfully to the nuclear regulatory mission via a contract that we've got with them, uh, they funded development of a plugin for Visual Studio so that you can start using Fortran Package Manager projects from Visual Studio. And so I'm really excited to show this one to you guys. So. If you followed uh, one of my previous videos where I show how I set up my environment for doing Fortran development on Windows, uh, I'm starting from where I left off in that video in the same Windows virtual machine, except for one uh, minor detail, I've gone ahead and installed Visual Studio on Windows. Uh, that one takes a lot, uh, takes a decent amount of time, but the installer is pretty straightforward. You, you'll figure out how to get Visual Studio installed. So I've got it installed, but I haven't done anything to it yet. And so I'm going to show you guys how you can start, how you can get the extension that I wrote so that you can start using the Fortran Package Manager f directly from Visual Studio. And I'll show you how you can, how, th how that works. So first thing, uh, open Visual Studio. And then you get to the just, you know, kind of welcome screen for Visual Studio, uh, uh, you know, startup page. I'm going to just click continue without code for right now because I don't have a project uh, that that I'm working on at the moment. And I'm going to show you where you can get the extension. So under the extensions menu, click manage extensions. And in the search box, type in FPM and download the FPM for Visual Studio extension. So just hit that download button and it says scheduled for install. So that's cool. So I can go ahead and close that dialog and then go ahead and close Visual Studio. Okay. And then, so when you close Visual Studio, it's going to tell you it's got uh, some changes pending. We'll let it do that. And once that's done, it says uh, that FPM for Visual Studio has been installed. So, and it will install that extension the next time I open it up. So go ahead and open up uh, Visual Studio. Now, as I mentioned, I haven't cloned uh, a project with FPM here yet. So I'm gonna clone an existing repository. Uh, and I'm gonna clone my strings for Fortran project thing functional strff dot git and that'll clone it locally for me and it's going to open up that folder once it's cloned so it's cloning the repository and then it's just going to open up that folder here in a second okay so now that you've got your project cloned and opened up in Visual Studio when you, if you want to start using FPM, you can go to the Tools Options menu and scroll down, and now you should have an FPM Options Entry. And there, are, there are three categories here, uh, General, Run, and Test. So General is for options that will be passed to FPM for either the Build, Run, or Test commands. Um, and then the Run and Test options are specific for either running or, or running the tests. So you can specify the compiler, flags. Um, if you are using the Intel compiler, which uh, I'm not going to demonstrate in this video, uh, 
there's a special setup script that you have to run before a command prompt can use the Intel compiler. Um, so you'll want to set put the put the path to that as the pre-execution script, and basically the the extension is going to run that before it tries to run FPM. That way you have access to the to the Intel compiler. Uh, you can specify specify the profile that FPM should use to compile the code and or custom flags that you'd like it to pass to the compiler, specify the compiler you'd like it to use. Um, for running, uh, you can specify uh, additional arguments to be passed to the executable you want it to run, give the name of the specific executable you want it to execute, uh, and similarly for the, exec for the test options. And if your project has example executables, you can have it run those instead of the, the executables in the app folder. So those are the, all the options that you can set. But in general, the, if you've got the G4Tran compiler installed, like I showed in the previous video, you can go up here to Extensions, FPM. And uh, I don't have any executables as part of this project. FPM already builds the code as part of running the test so i can just hit fpm test it's going to pop up a command prompt and run fpm for me so this is going to fetch its dependencies and build the code and run the test suite for me and my test suite passed and then you can close the command prompt and go back to editing your source files if you want and there's the code. And so now you can start using Visual Studio to work on your Fortran projects using the Fortran Package Manager. So as I said, I'm really excited about this one. So I'll give uh, links down in the description to the repository. It's open source and where you can download it uh, the, a link to the entry on the Visual Studio Marketplace so you can go and look at it on the web. And uh, if you want, if you've got suggestions for new features, if you run into some bugs, anything like that, go to the repository and create an issue there. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I hope you guys are too. Please give it a try and let me know how it goes. See what you guys like about it. And like I said at the beginning, I really need to thank the Nuclear Regulatory Commission for funding the work on this project to get it kicked off and started. Uh, I hope you guys find it useful. Please let me know if you do. Please let me know if you don't. If you like the videos that I've been putting out, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I put out new videos, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time.